Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another episode here of Pete Weber Simulator, also known as PBA Pro Bowling. We dove into this a couple of weeks ago and just got a little taste of what we have coming down the pipe in this game. There's unlocking balls, there's playing different tournaments, there's playing different pros, there's trying to get a 300, there's perfecting your craft, and today we're going to be doing more of the same of going through making our way through all of these tournaments here last week we did an introduction we did league play which is essentially like local bowlers and uh we beat all them we got the qualifier we won the league finals and we got moved up to the pro-am so to start it off today we're gonna be playing some pro-am matches we got the qualifier and finals as well but first we're gonna see what kind of pattern we got on the lanes out here today and see if we can't find our sweet spot to maybe bowl a 300 once we get in to the qualifier and get into the finals so let's hop into our pro-am exhibition figure out the pattern we got and prepare ourselves to go out and dominate the competition hello bowling fans and welcome to the pro-am exhibition here at the bowlerama I'm Rob Stone, and I'll be covering all the action Thanks, here along with the Hall of Famer, Randy Peterson. The We're at the Bowlerama. Electric tonight, and I feel like we got a great one coming up. What do you think, Randy? It's pretty simple. It? Don't let the pressure get to you. Everyone here is good, and they know it. You just have to find a way to get it done. Wise words, as always, amigo. Let's get things going now. Okay. All right. We're going to try out where our sweet spot was last vin there we go Let's see if it's more of the same less oh it is much more okay yeah nice start strong right out of the gate all right we're gonna have to move this over quite a bit more got a strike on the last turn that was the sweet spot before let's try mid Mid was not the answer. <laughs> mid, mid was not the answer. Probably shouldn't have left it. We cannot pick this up either. Yeah. Damn it. So leaves the frame open. Time to regroup and focus on your next frame. Is it? I agree. All right, let's try to go just a bit outside. Better. This ball comes in just a pinch high. Better. Better. Still a little off though. Okay. Let's try to move over a little bit. Try to go mid here. And then aim there. Alright, let's see. God dang it. Just a fractional miss down lane and boom! Right through the face. A very low conversion rate here. Is it? Would have never have known. We can pick this up, though. Ah, oh, man. Convert to no one's surprise. You know okay, what? dude. Jesus. All, the time, but it like it all right, let's try to go no one was looking. just inside here. And then in the mid. Damn. That was tough to the face. Tough Trouble. tough finding this sweet spot here. We'll see what happens here. Will this work? Ah, close. My goodness, this is not what you want. Yeah, kind of like watching someone do surgery with a chainsaw. 
these guys are they're brutal that might be it okay 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 so just inside and then just on the outer part of mid here That's close. Knocks it's it is there. it is a very it is a very tight spot. That is for sure. Is the easiest spare to convert on the tour, ninety eight percent. That is a very 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 tight window with this oil pattern. Easy conversion there. But one that we can't hit. One that we can't hit. It's just, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a little, it's gonna be a little bit tougher this tournament. It's gonna be a little bit tougher this tournament. That first pattern was so easy in the uh, league play. We took a double into the 10th, though. That's good. Nice. At least we can close it out good. Nice little techie techie. I mean, it's starting to get hot in here. Damn, he's about to take off his clothes. All right, we found our we found our spot. We found our spot. There's a reason we play these exhibitions. Got to learn the patterns. Ooh, this might come in a little flat. Nope. There we go. We closed we closed her off. Closed her off. Five strikes to close it off. Well, we've reached the conclusion of our event on behalf of my second place though. I'm Rob Stone. Keep on rolling. Keep on rolling. Okay, dude. It took us a little while to find our to find our spot in that, which kind of sucks, but we did get to second place. We lost out by seven pins. Beat two pros, though. Beat two PBA pros, though, because I'm the best. I mean, everybody knows that. Everybody knows that I'm the best. But here we go. We got the Pro-Am Qualifier. Pro-Am Qualifier here. So let's get it done, dude. Place in the top four is all we need to do. That is something that we can definitely get done out here today. Convert a split for a challenge. I don't know. I just don't. I don't want to even get into a split. Three rounds we have to do, and we have to be in the top four. Oh, that's going to be bad. Oh, thank God. It wasn't a 710. A ringing seven. That was a pretty good shot, too. 93% conversion rate on the seven. That's your tour average. All right. Picked it up. No problem here in the first frame. One spare down. Just nothing but strikes to go. Come on, baby. Sucks that the 300s ran out the window in the first first frame. Good. Nice looking strike there. Oh, it was a nice looking strike, wasn't it? Actually getting a little hot and bothered, honestly. Got a strike on the last turn. Yeah. Just nothing but strikes to go. Might be flat. Ooh, we got lucky. We got a lucky kick, kick there. Look at it right off the sidewall. Lucky kick there. Nice little triple. Come on. What do you say, boys? What do you say, boys? All right. We found, we found, we found the sweetness. As long as I can get those right, 
As long as we can get those right, because I messed up a couple of 300s the last episode we had of this. I messed, a, messed up a couple of those 300s because I couldn't get my power right. So as long as I can get my power right, we should be able to uh, get this done. Oh. Also, I found out you get like a fucking trophy for getting a 300, so. Yeah, I want the freaking trophy. Okay. Give me the freaking trophy, please. This just keeps getting better and better. Yes, it does. This guy, he's about to, but to fucking oh, real quick. Like he is super pumped. The strikes just keep on, keeping on. That's seven straight, folks. Seven strikes in a row. Now looking for more. Now don't let me find the oil pattern, dude. Don't let me find it. And another strike. The streak now at eight. Don't let me find it. Looking for nine in a row now. Oh my gosh. Another strike. Make it nine in a row. The first frame. In a row right there. <gasps> oh no. Oh my gosh, I hit I hit RB, but uh oh. Uh-oh, we're all sorts of fucked up. Is this still going to be good? Should be. Got it inside just a little bit, and it went high. You mother fucker. <laughs> Dang it. That's still a really freaking good round, though. 279 to start it off. Eat your heart out, dude. Dang, Comp Trope 242. He's trying here. We ain't, we ain't having any of that, though. We ain't having any of that. Probably close our eyes and uh, win this out. Hello and welcome to the Pro-Am Qualifier here. I mean, we're not going to. But saying that we probably could, you know. There we go. All right, I gotta make, I gotta make sure that I don't mess my spot up here. Takes out nine pins. Okay. All right, dude. Who we'll invite a who we'll invite a fuck out of this tournament? Spare to convert on the tour, ninety-eight percent. All right. And no problem there. We need to get a different ball. This ball sucks. Back, back on the striking ways here. Trying to get a streak going here. Yeah, I am trying to get a streak going. You are absolutely right. Hopefully it doesn't get stupid here and give me... Yeah, there we go. Just all of them fall down. That's the easiest thing to do. You know, just let them all fall down. Working off a double now. Not even looking. Not even looking. Close my eyes to shoot that one. The turkey has been served. We're looking for the ham bone course right now. Turkey's been served cold, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, am I coming flat? Oh, my God. We got lucky. We got lucky. Looking to keep the streak alive, going for five in a row. That was very, very, very lucky. Perfect. Bang! Bang! Great focus and some really good bowling. Uh, Going for the dang. Six. 
Boom. Boom. Oh, oh. oh, oh my heavens. I thought that was a strike. Did you that say, oh my heavens? Ring 10. 95% is your tour average for the 10 pin. Got the spare. I, uh, I almost missed that. <laughs> Imagine. Ooh, this might come in flat again. Goes a little light with that one. Got a ringing 10 out of that. Damn it. The 10 pin gets converted 95% of the time. The spare here. Uh, spare into the 10. I, mean, I can't be mad about it. Still another really good round. Looking for two in a row. We're looking for three in a row. Fuck two in a row. There we go, baby. Got it. Just what you want to get it going on TV. The lights are on. Here we go, the baby. Pressure is cranked up. Is the pressure cranked up? I'm not even feeling that pressure. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we're just breezing through this because we're just the best. We're the best. You get three strikes and you're not out. We are the next great thing in professional bowling. Easy. 279 and a 248. Please, dude. Look at that. Got an 80 pin lean. Not even worried. Like I said, we could honestly probably close our eyes for this. We had a first place finish still. Not even worried about it. And we're heading right in. All the pros and me made it. Of course. Of course. 316 Shooter McGoody. <laughs> he averaged 100. <laughs> Skip Flanders. Bob Ross. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Rob Boss Jr. Oh, my gosh. This is spectacular. <laughs> Mr. Leahy. <laughs> Holy shit. I've never read through these names. This is great. <laughs> Mr. Leahy. <laughs> oh, I wonder if he's drunk. Probably. They did Randy and Leahy. Oh, my God. That was so perfect. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Three professional PBA bowlers. Two game elimination. We are in the finals. We're going up against Liz Johnson. Good control, good power, good hook. Let's go on and get this done. Let's make it a good one here. Hopefully we can find our spot just right off the bat. Hi. Okay. We got to move over to the left a little bit. And then move it over to the right on our angle. Statistically, this is the easiest spare to convert on the tour. 98%. All right. Easy pickup. Gets the spare here in the first. Liz Johnson up now. She's the first woman to win an open non-major PBA tour title. Nice. Ooh, close. Oh, ringer on that seven. Hmm. Look at that ball. <gasps> Could not convert the spear here in the first frame. Yeah, the oh first no. Here, especially early in the match. Liz. Liz, what are you that doing? The face. Trouble. Picks up eight pins. Are you leaving the four and six? Liz, are you drunk? Need some coffee? A little pick me up? So leaves the frame open. Time to regroup and focus on your next frame. Alright, over to the left a little bit and more to the right. Go. Nice looking strike there. Looking Much the better. Much better. Got it. All right, nice little double up on it here, Liz. 
We take a commanding lead. She had two open frames. I mean, that's that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt a lot. Perfect delivery for the strike. Good job. Liz. Looking to get on a streak now, hunting two in a row. Make it interesting. I mean, also fuck off too. So. And there's the double. I mean, that'd be fine too Looking if you just don't want to make anything. You know, make it interesting, but not too interesting. You know, the ten pin gets converted ninety-five percent of the time. Oh my God! Oh, no, did not get it. Something like that just kills you. You can't miss an easy spare like that. <laughs> oh my God! How? Oh my gosh, I'm making it interesting now. No. No. You see how often the 10 pin is converted 95% of the time. Oh no. Conversion there. Working off a double now. Oh god. Oh no. Yes. That okay. Knocks down seven pins there. Okay. All right. All right. Nobody. Nobody panic. Nobody panic here. We're okay. All right, Liz. Very nicely done. Yeah. Okay, Liz. Yeah. Sick, dude. All right. Yeah, pick this one up. Just a fractional miss down lane and boom. Yeah. Right through pick the this one up. Left a six seven ten split. The way to make the six seven ten split is by sliding the six across to take out the seven. The ball takes out the ten. Oh man, uh, converted the six seven ten. There's the lucky bounce we were talking about. <laughs> okay. Alright, Liz. Okay. Okay, Liz. <laughs> Yeah, it's sick, dude. All right, let's. Okay. That was just a little late getting around the corner. All right. Little worried. <laughs> little, little worried. We got a nice little lead though here. We got a nice, we got a nice little lead. We're all right for now. There's our spot. We've been missing it. We've been missing it all game here. Nice little 14 pin lead. Much more now. Watch this. Cuts right through the heart. Much more now. Miss it. One could hope. She is a here. spare. Like she picked up two big spares this match. That shot stunk. <laughs> Not even a Brooklyn strike. <laughs> that shot stunk. Easy conversion there. Struck in the last frame. Looking for the double here. We got it. We're going to get a double. Don't worry about it. We're going to take even a more commanding lead here. Even a more commanding lead. See? 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 What I tell you. And the pressure is cranked up. Already with the double. Looking for a triple. Looking for the... see the max score. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Good looking shot right there. Got ourselves a nice little, nice little challenge there too. Getting a turkey. Thirty-six down. Gee, that's probably gonna eliminate her right there. What would you suggest here? Oh, throw it better. That was a bad shot. That's probably gonna, that's probably gonna eliminate her, right? 
No problem. Already 36 down? Yeah, even if she... Oh, no. Not yet. If she strikes out... Oh, yes. Ten in the pit. If she strikes out, she'll take a slight lead. Maybe? Now she's eliminated. Well, that was just a bad shot. Now she's eliminated. For sure. I think I would have had to hit nothing but gutters on the last frame, and I think only then I would have not been able to beat her. Working off a turkey, trying to upgrade to a ham bone. Oh, one nope. Pin here, I need one pin one over. right now to win. Okay. Never mind. Coming in flat. Never mind. We move on. Going for the five I was actually, I'm not going to lie, I was a little worried there for a second. I was a little worried there for a second. That's much better. And there's the five back. We're seeing a lot of confidence and some great shot making here. Looking for six strikes in a row. Boom. Boom. Ooh, barely boom. We move on. Really easy. Well, not easy. I was a little worried there for a moment. All right. We are going against Kyle Tripp. He's the one that shot really well a couple of those rounds in the qualifier. So we got to get this done right here. Bring it on, Kyle. Ooh, look at that. Power, hook, and control. All really, really good. All right. This is probably going to be a little bit more of a challenge. But one that I am up, I am up for. Finals at the Bolarama. I am up for it. Oh, man, we found it right off the bat. We found it right off the bat this time. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He took home his third career title in 2018. Look at he this fucking beauty, Jason dude. Belmonte to win the Lucky Larson Masters. You gotta love the throwback style of this guy. Knocks down nine pins there. Look at this fucking beauty, dude. A spare to start the things outfit, off. the hair, you know what I'm saying? I want to be this man. I want to be this man. Great pin action there. Looking for the double. Motherfucking ten pin, dude. Ringer on the ten. That's not right. Yeah, that's just dirty. Ninety-five percent is your tour average for the ten pin. Motherfucking ten pin. No problem there. <sighs> That's better. That's better. What's crazy is mine is a 17 mile an hour all coming in with that uh that break. This man's is a 21 mile an hour ball comes in. And it is hooking. Like that thing gets nutty. Just what you want to get it going on TV. The lights are on and the pressure is cranked up. Already has two strikes, looking for a third. Okay, dude. Sick, man. Struck in the last frame, looking for the double here. Sick, dude. Two in a row now. We're storming back, though. Graphic here shows the potential max scores. Let's go, baby. Come on, Kyle. What are you doing here? Don't bowl the game of your life, please. We're looking for the ham bone course right now. There we go. Good job. Good job, Kyle. Good Leaving the four and seven. Good job. Good job. This is how we take a lead right here, okay? This is how we take a lead right here, all right? Got it. 
Yeah. You stay down there. No. No. No, not oh yes. No. Root for me. Trying to upgrade to a ham bone. This might come high. Nope, we're good. Got the ham bone. Great release on that one. Very nice. Thanks, man. Very nice. Very nice. How much? Very nice. I. Yep, it was high. Got it inside just a little bit, and it went high. Yep. Just we're not and missing them. Nice conversion there. Got a strike on the last turn. All right, we got a slight lead here. He is very good got though. It. For another strike now to get that turkey. Here's your strike breakdown on the left and right lanes. Yes. There's a nine oh, count. Gosh, we need these open frames. This guy's not making it easy. Easy conversion there. All right, baby, come on. Heart's pumping a little bit. Come on. Come on. There it is. There it is. There it is. There's a strike. Let's go, baby. Looking to keep it going here with two in a row. Here's the max scores if both players strike out. Oh man, this is a tight one here. We need a strike going into the tenth. Come on. You've got to be Takes fucking me right now. Oh my gosh. It doesn't get any easier than the four pin for the professionals on the tour. Okay, we kind of left the door open no a little bit there. We spared into the 10th frame. Oh, this is not good. It was a full rack attack once the ball got to the fence. Looking to get on a streak now, hunting two in a row. Ten frame now, Two strikes and three pins. Out. Oh my god. Nine pins. Oh my god. This is so close. <laughs> oh my god, this is so close. What am I gonna need? Dude. That was did you see that pin? It, it was screaming back. Look at this thing. Look at that action. Oh my lord. What do I need here? He'll try to win it here. One strike and nine pins. Oh my god. One strike and nine pins. Okay. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Oh, let's go. The pitch just took a beat down on that one. Come on, dude. Needs nine for the win. Do not split here. He Let's freaking go, dude. Win. That was this this match was extremely close. Now two strikes in a row. Will we see three? We just might. Extremely, extremely close. Damn, what a match. What a freaking match that was. Nice. We got ourselves the Pro-Am trophy, baby. Let's go. We beat him 239 to 227. Dang, dang. That was a good one. That was fun. He was fun to go against. He didn't have an open frame. Didn't have a single open frame. That was really good. But we take him down. We take him down. We're moving on to the PBA Regional East. Oh my gosh. So we got the Chameleon Open East, the Championship East Qualifier into the Champion East Finals. Grove City Open, another qualifier, Fayetteville Open, and then you have the Championship South, East Grand Championship Qualifier, and then the East Grand Championship Finals. Oh man, this is a big one. I love it. I love it. We didn't get gold on everything, though. That's a, kind of unfortunate, but 
that's okay. That's okay that we didn't get gold on everything. We needed to, we didn't figure out the pattern until late. So that's all right. But there it is. PBA Regional East is what is next up. And we will get to it the next time we do an episode of PBA Pro Bowling. This actually got a, a lot more positive of a, of a reaction than I thought it was going to. People really enjoyed it. So more than likely, not more than likely, we will be doing another episode here of the pba pro bowling this might get to a point of doing all these until we get done with them but that is all she wrote for today's episode of the pba pro bowling thank you for stopping by today if you made it this far and you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like on the video or think about subscribing to the channel we do do this series now we also have golf club content every wednesday through saturday some mlb the show content and some random other tidbits that are coming that hopefully you guys will enjoy i also stream live over at twitch.tv slash respawn tv i stream over there monday through friday starting at eight o'clock p.m eastern time if you want to see the live side of things you can find me over there playing more than likely some franchise on mlb the show currently thanks for watching though We'll catch you on the next one. Do say.